Sasha Pascal lost her leg in a missile attack in the ongoing war in Ukraine, but the seven-year-old rhythmic gymnast is continuing to fight and has big dreams for her future. ABC's Britt Clennett has her inspiring story. At this gym in Chornomorsk, southern Ukraine, victories are etched in time. It's a place where gold medals are born where dedication, hard work and sacrifice is expected. This is seven-year-old Sasha Pascal, one of Ukraine's hopeful young rhythmic gymnasts. She trains every single day. But Russia's brutal war in Ukraine has left Sasha impaired. You know, her coordination is really impressive and she's treated exactly the same as all the other girls. Are you tired now? No. You're not tired. Do you ever feel like your prosthetic leg makes you more tired sometimes. Because you're a superstar. Superstar. What's your dream, Sasha? What do you want to do? I want to be a Olympic champion, then a trainer. That's a big dream. You can do it. Sasha's determination unwavering, despite being one of countless children harmed in this war. This is the moment the missile strikes their seaside home. Sasha and her mother Maria take me there. This is the house. Sasha was on the third floor at the time, you can see why. They're so happy that she came down just in time. You're just here? Yeah. Вот вот прямо здесь вот. пляж, и она вот спустилась, говорит, мама, ну что, идём? Я говорю, ну идём. Мы вот так вот повернулись с ней, и вот и уже почувствовали на себе вот у меня вот как волосы от удара и стёкла вот, стёкла вот эти все полетели в спину. Слушай, это прям передо мной она так взлетела, она, ну, она маленькая. Взлетела? Да, а как? да, и упала. На, и на упала воздух? Сюда вот, да. Как летающая э, птица? Птица. Полностью кости были. Да, здесь была поврежденная, Мне головка жалко. была полностью поврежденная. As a mom, you must have been horrified and, and terrified that the, of the worst. Бог говорила спасибо, что она осталась жива, потому что при таком ударе остаться живы – это просто вот как в рубашке родились. What's it like being here again? Аж страшно сюда приходить, О, очень страшно, потому что сразу мысли вот как мы ее доставали, как мы ее везли в больницу, вот эта нога, рука, ну, очень, очень тяжело, очень. It's really hard to Sasha in intensive care for two weeks. Half a year later, she was back in gym training. Then she entered her first post-trauma competition and won it. Weeks later, she won again. Sasha swims. And ballroom dances. This strong little girl even capturing the attention of Vogue. 
and winning hearts at the highest levels, like Ukrainian First Lady Elena Zelenska. I know, you've met yeah. her before. and She's amazing. She's incredible. I just want you to show you a video of, of when we saw her. This is Sasha. Yeah. <laughs> we just couldn't believe it. You know, she's back, back flipping and, and jumping around like any of the other girls. They look the same. You know, I, I guess my question is, kids are very resilient. Yeah. The, we don't know the impacts that the war is going to have later on. No, на жаль, таких дітей уже багато. Саші пощастило. У неї є любляча родина. В неї є оточення, яке її підтримує. В неї є можливості розвиватися, жити далі. Sasha still has medical hurdles to clear. She's constantly outgrowing her prosthetic leg. But back on the beach, yards away from where she nearly lost her life, Sasha looks ahead. Our thanks to Britt for introducing us to Sasha and her incredible spirit. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.